This is the unique footage shot during the testing of the Antonov 70 medium military airlifter powered by the D27 propane engines. This test covered the whole range of high angles of attack up to the stall. Test pilots of Antonov ASTC, Russian Federation and Ukrainian Air Forces, Air Register Certification Center of Interstate Aviation Committee participated in these test flights. During these trials, over 300 of stalls were accomplished in 45 wing high lift devices configurations within the entire range of engine power settings. Now you are witnessing aircraft entering the stall. The pilot is pulling the control wheel. The aircraft decelerates. Alpha angle grows. Airspeed goes down. Now the aircraft is stable and controllable. The minimum speed is attained. The aircraft lowers its nose smoothly, accelerates and regains normal flight attitude. No wing drops, spins or adverse behavior were experienced in flight. Another condition. The yoke is pulled back again, deceleration, the aircraft slows down, alpha angle is increasing, the speed is decreasing, the Anton of 70 is stable and under control. The minimum speed is attained. The aircraft pitches downward, accelerates and regains normal flight attitude. This documentary footage proves that the Antonov 70 is fully controllable in flight at stall angles and demonstrates how safe is its recovery from the stall. The results which confirm one-of-a-kind lift properties of Antonov 70 are two or three times superior than the ones of other counterparts. Maximum lift coefficient 7.2 of the Antonov 70 is by far better than such a parameter of counterpart airlifters, which is 2.5, 3.5. An unprecedented minimum control speed of 98 km per hour was attained. Counterparts cannot fly slower than 160 to 200 km per hour. It was for the first time in the history of aviation when a 100-ton wide-body aircraft flew at an ultra-light aircraft speed. At the same time, the Antonov 70 mastered the angles of attack up to 30 degrees that before had been a domain of the 6th generation fighter aircraft, such as Eurofighter Typhoon or Sukhoi 27. The Antonov 70 did not drop its wing even in the test with the one engine out. 95% of flights required to get temporary certificate were accomplished. The following sections of flight tests were completed. They are stability and controllability, strength, flutter, stalling, short takeoff and landing, flight performance, systems, avionic suite and air dropping. Performance of the Antonov 70 complies with the claimed technical level. It is safe throughout the flight envelope and entirely meets both the military and civil air weatherness requirements. The aircraft is actually ready for industrial launch and serial production.